What's going on everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. This time we're jumping back into standard with some Grixis control. I believe this was originally created by Channel Fireball. I'm not 100% sure, but um, this is a really cool list. I've been playtesting with it pretty much all day uh, and I love it. I, I really do love it. Uh, it's got a lot of really cool little interactions. It's a fairly standard Grixis control list, but we've obviously got a few little uh, intriguing pieces as we go through. So uh, to kind of quickly go over things, uh, our only two creatures here are, of course, Croxa, which is a given, uh, and then Lizav, which essentially works as extra copies of Croxa. Uh, you get to play this out, pay two, it becomes a copy of Croxa if it's in your graveyard, and now you just have like a very efficient Croxa. Uh, super, super strong card, really, really like that. Uh, we, of course, have Thought Erasure, all of which, essentially, this two mana package is a lot of discard from the hand. Um, so this obviously lets you kind of pick while as uh, Croxa and then copying Croxa doesn't really let you pick, but um, uh, it's still very efficient and a very good way to kind of remove threats from the hand, uh, especially in the right matchup. You can really, really get somebody good with that. Um, in the, uh, the three mana slot here, we do have Narset. This shuts down a lot of really, really key decks. Um, not only... Uh, does it shut down like a lot of the the kind of counter draw decks uh, that are out there? But it also does a good job of shutting down cycling. Uh, just a really solid card overall. Um, and not only that, but of course it's going to help us get to quite a lot of our other uh, pieces here. So very very nice. Flame sweep as well as extinction event. Uh, both essentially act as sweepers. We've only got two flame sweep, but instant speed two damage to pretty much everything. Uh, really really solid. Uh, and then, of course, Extinction Event does a great job of uh, kind of clearing up the board and exiling threats uh, with the either odd or even converted mana costs. Uh, this works, again, very, very well against the cycling decks, but really just any creature deck this is amazing against. Uh, Bedevil, very lucrative um, uh, kill spell here. You can hit artifacts, creatures, or planeswalkers, so we've got the full uh, four on that. Uh, all four to Fairy Masters of Time. Uh, this is just an amazing card, obviously one of the newer cards from Corset 2021, and we've seen it everywhere, but in, in Grixis Control in particular, it's very good. Not only does it fuel Croxes, uh, it also helps protect you, just draws you through your deck, and then of course if you can get it high enough, you can actually take extra turns, which is amazing. Um, so very good. Uh, we all, we have a one of Enter the God Eternals here. Um, I do like this card quite a lot, but I've found that, you know, you can't really run a full four. Uh, while a lot of creature decks are out there, um, there's also a lot of, with Teferi gone now, there's a lot of control lists. I mean, in a mirror match, you think about God Eternals, it really doesn't do anything. Uh, chances are they'd be able to play Ledev and uh, use its ability in the same turn, so you can't even really hit that. There's just, there are plenty of matchups where this is not a good card. You'll find our, that we, we may end up discarding it if we see it, depending on the matchup, but it does a great job uh, in the right matchup of kind of turning the tables back into your favor, dealing with a creature, gaining a little bit of life, and then of course amassing for four uh, and milling four cards, which generally will be ourselves, to be fair, um, just so we can hit a Croxa, but very, very good. Uh, for Nicol Bolas, uh, Dragon God, pretty obvious include for any Grixis list, to be honest. Um, it's just by far one of the best Planeswalkers right now. Uh, not only does it get all the abilities of all the other Planeswalkers, but honestly, the, the abilities on it are just crazy good. So, uh, really, this is one of our big, big swing pieces. If we can get this out there uh, at the right time, we're able to kind of control the board from there on out. Uh, we do have Discovery Dispersal as a way to draw some cards uh, with Discovery if need be. And then later on in the game, if we get into a position where we've dealt with a lot of what's on the board, we can bounce a card uh, and then make them discard, which is pretty nice. Uh, do have 26 lands here. Uh, I'm not going to run through all of them. You can kind of look down below in the description if you would like to see them all, but that's the deck. That's it. Uh, really straightforward Grixis list, but uh, I really, really like it. Um, we haven't played Grixis Control, I don't think, in a little while, um, so it's kind of nice to revisit now that we've got Corset 2021 out, um, and we'll see how we do. Uh, I was doing fairly well with it. Um, I didn't get 100% win rate, but we were doing very close to it um, out of a you know, fairly substantial sample set. Um, this isn't the most exciting hand in the world, but I th we keep this. It's fine. Uh, we get to scry off of the uh, temple here, have a discovery up. Looks like mono red's the, the deck here, so we're kind of hoping to hit maybe a sweeper of some kind. Do we actually keep that? Uh, I'm going to say no. We really need some, some interaction here. Uh, Bedevil's great, but 
obviously on its own it's not going to do it um we really need like a uh, extinction event or a flame sweep would be just amazing here to be honest um, but Discovery Dispersal hopefully going to help us get somewhere. Uh, we do kind of have to hit ourselves here, which I don't like, but it's the best we can do. I am ditching both of these. Uh, we really, really need that Flame Sweep, so I'm slightly counting on that. Um, which may be incorrect, but I think it's the best we can hope for. This is, I think, just a Calamity deck, and these Calamity decks are ridiculously good. Um, and just quick very very quick so i expect that either we'll win very quickly if we can get the right card or we will just straight lose <laughs> um and so far we're not doing great um four five six seven uh i think we're just gonna lose but let's narset this is kind of our last hope here for next turn but chances are i think we're we're pretty much done yeah uh, we really aren't doing much against this deck, and we didn't have a great hand against it. This does this deck does answer these decks okay, um, but it obviously has to have the pieces in hand. We've got enough sweepers in the deck that it's not impossible. We just didn't get there. That's all. And they can pump up with Castle Embrith, and they could have won. Are they just going to shock? Yeah. I was going to say they could have just pumped up with Castle, but hey, whatever works. Uh, well, that was a very quick game one. Uh, uh, we unfortunately just didn't get anything, um, and so that's all good. But let's move into game two. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I fully expect that because this is a control deck, the, the time on the video might be a bit longer than normal. But obviously, if we're up against a lot of mono red, maybe not. Um, I do appreciate, by the way, all the support on the historic videos. Uh, I know we put, for the last few days, we've got, we've kind of been um, pushing into Historic a little bit and trying that out. It's been really fun, uh, truly a really awesome time, but it's really nice to uh, to get that support there. So thank you guys for that. Um, we're just going to start with the Steam Vents here. We'll follow it up with a Swamp and then Thought Eraser. Uh, ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh... Extinction event's probably going to be really good against them, though. So they may end up taking that. Um, I don't know, though. Thought Erasure, I mean, hey, we'll find out. We'll see what they're thinking. Uh, regardless, we have Discovery Dispersal or Thought Erasure uh, as an option here next turn. So not too worried about that. We could also just play Ledev or Lazav. I keep saying Ledev, and that's definitely a Selesnya thing. It's Lazav. My mistake. Really considering here. Really, really considering here. Um, yep, yeah, maybe. Uh, I hope you guys had a fantastic Monday uh, and are starting off the week strong. Um, it's been a busy, busy week already for me. Um, but it's been really fun. And uh, we've been... Really uh, fortunate that um, we're moving forward with a lot of JDC stuff this week. Uh, I'm so excited about it. It's going to be a really fun time, in my opinion. Um, it's just such a such a cool idea, I think. Um, and so I'm I'm tremendously excited to see what happens. I'm actually going to keep that on top. Uh, let's double up on extinction events here. Against a deck like this, mono black kind of aggro-y deck, I'm fully expecting that they're going to have quite a few uh, creatures. Yep. Um, so I need to be able to get rid of those. We'll play Steam Vents. We'll play Ledev. Lizov. Good lord. I literally am doing that constantly. Um, let's try that. It's a bit slow, uh, but we might be able to do it. Um, I do realize that playing this with Extinction Event in hand is not necessarily ideal, um, but I'm kind of hoping they burn a spell on it. Uh, they may not. Well, I mean, we don't have anything going on with it yet, but yep, they did. It's kind of surprising. With an extinction event in hand, I would fully expect they not do that, but sure. Um, let's do this. Let's hit for even. playing a bit slow. I wonder what's going on. 
Get rid of that. Uh, we, of course, get our Thought Eraser back. They do get some... Um, this Demonic Embrace is technically a, a viable card now for them, but... We could start nipping at their their resources here with Nicol Bolas if we get lucky. Um, whoops, definitely rushed that a little bit, didn't I? Um, well, I rushed that, so we're kind of stuck into doing this, which kind of feels bad. But um, I was my plan was to play Nicol Bolas, get rid of that. Um, I guess we just can't though, right? We we don't have a, a third black source. Well, now we do. Um, woo, that is a good card. Let's go ahead and do this. Get one of these cards out. Definitely the knights. Uh, we're gonna throw that one out. Definitely don't need it. Um, now the problem that we're gonna run into here is we're gonna take a huge hit. Uh, which just means that we, if they just, well, we'll see. We'll see what they do. We can't really just play this Blood Crypt out. That was, we made a huge mistake in not playing this out first. Um, we could have played it this past turn had I played correctly. <laughs> um, and we didn't, so that's unfortunate. And we just lose here, so let's do that. All right, well, unfortunately that was more down to a misplay. Um... I still don't know if we would have won, but we would have definitely gotten closer, uh, which is important. Um, so let's go on to game three. We're learning as we go here, but that's fine. Um, I really do like this deck still. Uh, it held its own fairly well against that. Um, we're, we had them down on resources, and that was the key. You kind of have to get them down. Uh, when they've got that Demonic Embrace, you have to get them down to zero cards in hand, and if you can, you're in decent shape. Um, this hand sucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's very bad. Uh, we definitely can't keep this, I don't think. Um, Narset is fine, but it's not good enough. Uh, it's not fast enough, I should say. I mean, we saw against like a Calamity deck or really any kind of um, early game thing, uh, we're going to be in bad, bad shape. Uh, do we put a land back? I think we do. Let's, let's throw a Steam Bends back here. Um, yep, looks like another mono red list. Uh, well, glad we, uh, mulliganed at least. Um, let's throw that on the bottom again. Now we're in sweeper territory. That's what we want. We, we do have the extinction event in hand, which is very helpful. Uh, we've got Lizav in hand as well that we can kind of throw out there if need be. But, um, this is going to be a bit of a tough matchup, uh, if we, um, if we get just beaten to death with these uh, Calamity triggers. All right. Uh, well, we do have to shock ourselves here to get Lizob down. But uh, I think it's worth it. I'm going to throw that in the graveyard. We'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Um, I haven't played a control deck in a while, by the way. That's kind of why we decided to uh, go with a control deck today. It's just... We've been playing a lot of, like, the aggro decks um, and just kind of creature-focused decks. Not that there's anything wrong with those, but um, we haven't done a ton in terms of uh, these style decks yet. Um, and so I thought uh, we'd try it out. Oh, yes, please. Um, okay, well, in that case, we pass. This is instant speed, worth noting. So we kind of want them to commit if we can. Probably should have put a stop on their attack step. That was a bit of a mistake, but it's fine. I assume they just have like Embercleave here, um, which is good, but it doesn't save it. We we have Extinction Event here still, so. Yeah, that was unnecessary damage. That was a bit of a mistake, but that's fine. Um. Hmm. We have to get a black here to set up. 
Uh, that's just the best thing we can do. Let's do this. We'll see what happens. I'm planning to extinction event. So we're going to try and get this down to where... Yes, perfect. So that way if they use it, it's going to die. We do have to choose even here, which does get rid of our Lazav, but um, it also clears the board pretty well. And now next turn, we've got Nicol Bolas coming down. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. That really, really hurts. Um, yep. It's four damage, easy. Kind of surprised they haven't used to vault. We're not a life gain deck, so like there's... It's not much of a reason to, to hold off for that. All right. Um, this really hurts, but we're going to do it. Let's do this. All right. What can, what's our best bet here? I think we just have to destroy Chandra. That is a significant clock. Um, so I think we just have to get rid of that. And now... They definitely need to play some stuff out, and they've only got one card in hand, so... Um, okay, so they can activate this. Ooh, this is a tough one. Um, Teferi's gonna help, hopefully. But we're at five. Five is low. Uh, and I'm sure they've got ways in their deck just to straight kill Nicol Bolas, so... I fully expect that that's gonna happen at some point. Alright, let's draw a card first. Not super helpful. Um, <laughs> could be worse, but not super helpful. Uh, hmm. Let's throw that down, and I wonder if... I'm questioning whether Teferi or Bedevil is the way to go. Um, I kind of think it's Teferi, so let's do that. Extinction event is very good. Okay. Um, so now we can phase this out if we want. We'll see. Teferi and Nicol Bolas together is a very potent little uh, trick here. Um, let's do this. And now we're in a position where we're just dwindling their resources as best we can. Uh, we could have actually thought erasured them. Well, no, we drew it off of that, so I guess not. Um, let's thought erasure now. Perfect. Uh, eh, we'll get rid of that. Uh, we will go ahead and play this out here. Crocs is good. That's a card we want for sure. Draw a card, discard a card. And this becomes Croxa. There we go. All right, so we've got two very active Planeswalkers and they don't have a ton. <laughs> um, go ahead and do this now since there's not anything else that we can actually do. Um, uh, we can ditch that, I think. Narset's good, but I, I don't think it's the, the end all be all here. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. They can hit us for a lot. I mean, uh, genuinely, they hit us for minimum three. Um, hmm. Extinction event is probably going to have to happen, which feels bad, but it is what it is. Um, opponent just sitting here. Not really sure why. Uh, hopefully, though, this means that they're slowly giving up. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I mentioned JDC. We're, um, we finally got everybody lined up for that. Uh, really excited to get... Um, I'm working on graphics now. Uh, I initially said September 21st. Um, I'm debating on pushing that up, depending on people's schedules and that kind of stuff. Um, so I have no idea when it's actually going to start. At latest, it will be September 21st, but I'm really excited to see uh, how this goes. This is obviously kind of a first round test with other channels kind of being involved. Um, I could not be more excited to try this out. Um, 
And I really do think it's a good, just nice collaborative effort uh, to be able to work with other people and hopefully build something that's not just our channel, it's it's building off of other people's uh, kind of collaborative effort. And so we get kind of a network thing going. We've got a lot of really awesome players that are going to be in this, and I'm holding off to announce them, but uh, really excited about it. And so uh, it's, it's going to be a good time. I'm really stoked. Uh, really, really stoked. I think it's going to be great. So... Okay. This is fun. Alright, well... We'll do that. Um... Draw and discard first. All right. We're not in a great place, but we're still hanging in there. Now we're in a decent place. If they had gotten anything really substantial off the top, that would have been terrible, but they didn't. Perfect. Yes, please. That's exactly what we want. Um, all right. Well, let's do this. That was pretty good, as it turns out. Uh, maybe could have held on to that land, but I, I actually think we kind of need to play these out here. Um, we've got multiple things that we're trying to do per turn, so. Yeah, let's do this. They're going to have to get rid of a permanent here, obviously. That's not, I mean, that's something. It's not really great, but it's a, it's a card. Um, go ahead and play it. And now any creature that they play also, we can just phase out. So like, we're in pretty decent positions going here. Next turn, we've got Croxa coming. Feeling all right. Feeling all right. Uh, I guess we do this. Uh, I mean, it maybe would have been better not to have croxa there, but okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Teferi up to six, Nicol Bolas at five, uh, and they are at four lands, a Calamity, and no cards in hand. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. That's a very good card, uh, but we actually just get to kill it next turn, so I'm not even going to phase it out. do that. Uh, let's draw and discard really quick. Go ahead and play this. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I kind of don't want to play this. I kind of want to uh, bounce the, the uh, Calamity and make them discard it. It's kind of a douche move, but like... <laughs> there we go. All right, we got a win. All right, I feel a lot better now. Um, that was great. That was definitely what we were hoping to do. Bit of a grindy game. I was a little worried there for a number of turns, but we got there. Um, so that's... Uh, you can kind of see in that match, though, um, exactly what this Grixis deck is looking to do, which is just uh, devalue as much as possible the hand. Um, and then be able to sweep the board and then just slowly, once per turn, be able to do something that kind of outvalues what they're doing. Um, and then with Teferi, of course, doing that on their turn as well, which is kind of ridiculous. So uh, really do like this. It worked out great in that match. Hopefully we'll get a couple more wins in the next video, so do stay tuned for that. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching. Again, thank you for all the support lately. It's nice to jump back into standard, but I think we are going to kind of switch it up from time to time uh, and do a little bit more historic as well. Uh, I may try and set some designated days for that just so you guys know what to expect, but regardless, I think uh, it's just kind of fun to, to switch formats every once in a while. It's been a little stale in standard. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below, and I'll see you for part two of this Grixis control list uh, very, very soon. Thanks, guys.